Hey guys, Grumpy here with another episode of Fit to Fight. So in the previous episode, we accepted a Persian commission. We tailored our fleet to focus on trade and kind of minimizing our fleet profile. And then we secured our first destroyer, that being a hammerhead, so that we can transition from a trading fleet over to a combat fleet, uh, going against some of those early bounties and showing off the combat capabilities of our fleet. All right, so here we are in Zagan. Um, you saw it didn't yield anything, but Maslow has produced one of the best officers that we could have asked for. So here we have Azar uh, Gula. Their perk that they start with is Missile Specialization, and they're aggressive. Um, fantastic combination. For the long term, uh, for the long run of this series, Azar is going to be a phenomenal officer. So we will 100% hire them. Yes. It's definitely going to be worth it and we will add them to the fleet um, we will probably put them in either the kite or the wayfarer but missile specialization doubles their missile um, capacity which means we're getting even more missiles uh, from the ships that we bring to the fight checking the black market on one of the planets we found a vigilance here i think this is going to be the next ship that we add to our fleet um, i created a ship showcase for the Vigilance, if you're interested in that, the card will be above. Um, I think the Vigilance is a great ship to add to our fleet. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it... Ideally, we want to give it Dragonfires. Um, but since that's not an option, we'll go ahead and settle for Gorgons. And then as far as the Medium goes, um, we'll give it a heavy auto cannon for now. But ultimately, we want this to be a Hyper Velocity Driver. Smuggler with allies. Uh, we may have to turn our transponder so we can join one of these fights. Let's see. Yes. So we'll join on the side of the independents and take on this rather large fleet. Um, but it looks like a lot of them have demods and a lot of them are banged up already. So as long as we keep our fleet together, uh, this should be just fine. For this engagement, we'll remain in the hammerhead and we will continue on so same as last time we'll go ahead and deploy all uh, but we will tell everyone to follow us instead and of course i forget to link my uh, assault chain guns So we really want to focus on these unshielded targets, right? Like this mud skipper is a very valuable target for us. So we want to make sure that we're engaged in that. And for these shielded targets, we want to make sure that we're using our sabos against them to drive up their shields very quickly. And then letting the swarm of Gorgons that follow behind us uh, eliminate that target. Okay, so heading back to Yasad, 
we find another officer. Um, this one is steady with missile specialization. We will absolutely hire them as well. Sounds great. Uh, so we will put our next officer with missile specialization inside of the um, vigilance. And then we will spend the story points that we have acquired making Izar Gula elite as well as, or not, not make them elite, but we will mentor them so they gain additional experience and we have a better selection of upgrade or skills to choose when they do level up. So uh, we won't change their aggressiveness. I think aggressive is perfect. Uh, we don't need to move them down to steady. Um, so we'll hit confirm. And then same thing with Terrell. Uh, we'll mentor them, but we will step them up from steady to aggressive. All right, we'll definitely check out this one. And then before we head out of the system, we'll swing by Ankara, get some fuel, and then uh, go ahead and fight uh, this bounty as well. Okay, so our first fight was with a ragtag handful of um, frigates. I think this is going to be a better demonstration of what our fleet is capable of. So moving to engage, uh, again, we'll pilot the hammerhead. We'll deploy all ships. And I believe uh, the best bet is to kind of just let everyone do their own thing for right now and see how the enemy forces array themselves. So we want our shepherd with the Gorgons to attack the hounds. Uh, the kite, yeah, we can put these two on them. And I want the Vigilance to stick near me. Because I have a feeling that we might be able to burst down the Enforcer before it becomes a problem. So we're able to take care of um, the hounds because it was unshielded. I'm actually going to have the kite follow, uh, lead, not lead, but assist me in this. The kite has, um, what's it called? Uh, the gazers. So it'll be able to drive up the shielding of the enforcer pretty quickly. Uh, in addition to my sabos, we should be able to knock this enforcer out. Because we're taking the kite away from the shepherd, we need coverage over there. So we'll tell our wayfarer to engage the shepherd to keep it busy. And then the shepherd, along with the vigilance, can fight their hound. So there's the first reaper. Really want to be careful with those Reapers. Okay. If at all you can avoid them, you definitely want to. Okay, and it looks like this... Okay, it looks like he doesn't have um, Missile Specialization, so once this last Reaper is fired, uh, we're pretty much in the clear. Uh, we want to back up. And that shepherd is down. And now, actually, we can use our fleet to go ahead and start focusing on the enforcer. We'll kill this hound very quickly, and then we will join the rest of our ships. Oh, oops. I'm uh, just going to use the sabos there to help eliminate that target.
And then even without my assistance, all those Gorgons were going to destroy the Enforcer, which is a very armored target. Um, but of course, the Gorgons do energy damage, so they do 100% of damage to all parts of the ship. So a very easy fight. Um, didn't quite go exactly how I wanted it to go, but um, still, our fleet is robust enough that any frigate that we deployed easily tore through their frigates, and then we were able to um, jump on the Enforcer at the end there. So I forgot to mention this in the first episode, but the first skill that we took was Wolfpack Tactics. This is a huge amount of damage. Um, this is why our ships were so successful in that previous fight. Um, it's because that Wolfpack Tactics for any officered ship gets a, a bonus damage to any ship that's larger than it. This also applies to missiles, a uh, little known fact. So uh, very, very, very helpful for our ships. We're gonna take this crew training. Um, the reason we're taking crew training is for that maximum combat readiness. Cool. Um, so this should be an even easier bounty. Their flagship is a Shrike, which is um, much less armored. Um, also it's shielding, really only protects the front of the ship. Um, well, it rotates around the ship, it's an Omni shield, but it, it's arc I believe is 120. Its shield arc is 105, so it can't protect the entire ship. With the bombardment of uh, Gorgon missiles and the weak armor on this strike, it should go down pretty instantly, and we should have no problem ripping through the rest of the fleet. In fact, to save on supplies, since we're um, a little, we're not really too far away from the core worlds, but we will just deploy our Wayfarer as well as our Vigilance and um, ourselves, obviously, and the Hammerhead. We'll just give them the command to follow us and we will go ahead and start our attack. Now the Shrike is a very aggressive ship. Uh, it'll probably use its plasma jets to get ahead of the rest of the fleet. We will absolutely take advantage of that and burst it down with our sabos and then follow up with our assault chain guns to remove it as quickly as possible. Huh. Looks like it wants to hang back, which is no problem. We'll go ahead and take this opportunity to take down the kite. Okay. So we get an opportunity to take down the Shrike. Uh, we expended a few more Sabos than necessary, but um, as long as we get that, we get rid of that strike, uh, then we're in a really good position. So there you see the Gorgons working to quickly overload the, or not overload, but build up flux on that Shepherd, and then eliminate it. Gorgons make excellent anti-frigate missiles um, because they do so much damage so quickly. Get a nice wonderful payout. We will head back to the core worlds and look to see what um, ships are available to us for upgrades. Okay, so back in Salamanca, um, I think the next ship that we're going to add to our fleet, I was hoping for something a little larger, but we really can't pass over a clean hammerhead so we will go ahead and purchase that and we will move uh Izar from our wayfair to our new hammerhead all right so the last thing that we'll do is we will refit this ship as closely as we can to this ship so what we want to do is we want to go into auto fit click on this empty slot, or we could have deleted any of the other slots. We want to click on custom variant. So now this one is saved. And then when we click on auto fit uh, custom, what it'll try to do is it'll try to copy the um, hull mods as well as the weapons of the custom as closely as it can get it. Now, because there are no assault chain guns on this planet, uh, it can fit it with the light dual machine guns, but obviously as soon as we can, we definitely want to upgrade um, those two assault chain guns. So we'll hit confirm. 
fantastic. Uh, looks like we can give Izar a level. So perfect. We'll give him target analysis so he'll do even more damage. And I believe that is it for us. Is there anything in the black market we want to purchase? Some Gorgons, we could. Obviously. Okay. So now that we have two hammerheads in our fleet, we want to head over to Solom um, the abandoned station. And we want to um, deposit some of these goods that we've picked up from combat, as well as look to retire a couple of our ships that we no longer need. So I don't think we need this kite anymore. Uh, it served us really well, uh, but we can go ahead and put it away. And we will keep the Wayfarer because it is a nice uh, freighter until we can get a Buffalo. Uh, and then this Shepherd does have Salvage Gantry, so we'll keep it for now. Um, the Vigilance, I think we can retire until we can find something better. Or I think the, uh, we can retire the Vigilance for now. And we'll bring it back out once we have a more robust fleet. Uh, we'll move you over to the Wayfarer. And I think this is the fleet for now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, next episode, we want to continue fighting those bounties, collecting as many credits as we can. And we're really looking for a cruiser to upgrade to in the next episode. Anyway, other than that, Grumpy out.